But me, your man, Louis T, welcome to this Louis T Network exclusive as the Rams have unveiled their brand new uniforms. And I think their logo was universally slammed as being garbage or when they released that earlier in the spring. Um, lacked creativity. Um, I thought that the logo didn't do the team any justice. However, I said at the time, I'm not so much hung up on the logo as much as I am the uniform. What are the new unis going to look like? Are they going to keep the same color scheme? Are they going to keep the helmets the same? How is Nike going to uh, allow this uniform to speak to the LA market? I, I wanted to see what the uniforms were going to look like. And I told you, if the uniforms are fine, then I'll forget about the logo. All will be forgiven if the uniforms are up to par. That's what you see the most. When you talk about branding with an organization and a team, the uniform is what stands out the most. So I wanted to see what the uniforms were going to look like. And I must say, this is probably the best job Nike has done this offseason in terms of a uniform. And outside of what they did with Atlanta, they've pretty much stayed close to the vest in, in what they've done. Um, and, and so not a lot of changes this offseason, even though we've had a lot of teams uh, switch uniforms, not a lot of changes to be made until now. This is a uniform that looks nothing like the uniform that they previously had. And so Nike actually got to be creative. And you could argue that they actually just went bland here, which I'm fine with. The uniform looks clean to me, but let's take a deep dive. I want to hear what you guys have to say on the first look at the Rams' new unis for the upcoming season and beyond. So we'll take a look at what they have to offer here. And you see the three different color combinations that the Rams have put together. You've got the royal on royal. And to me, uh, that royal blue with the yellow is one of the best color combinations in the league. Uh, there are a number of really great combinations, but that's a classic timeless color combination. That royal blue with the yellow, you really can't go wrong. They didn't change that helmet scheme. They left that the same, which I thought was the right thing to do. And then you see the uniform there. I've got one complaint about the uniform. I'm nitpicking. I don't like the color bleed. I talked about that with the Falcons in the uniform. Uh, they got the color bleed on the numbers on the Royal uniforms. Um, I, I don't really like that too much. You see uh, the yellow. It starts yellow and then it kind of fades to white. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I think that's tacky. But uh, again, I'm nitpicking. I can get past that because the rest of the uniform for me is very, very clean. So you see they've got the um, standard home uniform, which is going to be the royal on royal, royal top, royal bottoms. They also have an alternate home uniform, royal tops, uh, yellow bottoms. That's clean as well. And then their road uniform is going to be what it looks like to be um, white, but to the naked eye, maybe white to you. If you can see really well, it's gray. It's like a heather gray. They have a term for it. But if you're a Jordan fan like myself, you know what heather looks like. It's kind of a heather gray. And so the heather on heather, you know, top and bottom is another color combination that they're going with. That's going to be their road uniforms. And uh, we'll, we'll get into an even deeper dive on the uniforms. But that's the first blush right there, just looking at them. They look really clean to me. I don't know about you guys, but I actually like the look. I think they're just fine. And... Um, Let's let's take a deeper dive into these uniforms. So you get a look here as Aaron Donald, Jared Goff, Jalen Ramsey, and Robert Woods are all sporting different looks. Uh, Jared Goff with the alternate uh, uh, royal tops, yellow bottoms. Aaron Donald, never, ever trust a man with two first names with the royal on royal uh, look with uh, some nice cleats to go with it. Ramsey in the heather on heather, uh, but he's got white socks. OK, and so that's the difference here is he's got on white socks. And as you see, Robert Woods has that same Heather on Heather look, but he has on blue socks. So that's how they'll spice up the um, away road unis with different sock combinations uh, there. So that's another look. But now we want I want to take an even deeper dive into these uniforms. So now um, as you take a look at Jalen Ramsey um, at different angles here, uh, we'll first take a look at is this patch that they have on the front here as i have circled that patch is the first time an nfl team has decided to go with their name on the front of a uniform in patch form we saw the falcons have that huge ugly atl smack dab in the middle of their uniform you've got other teams that have their name on the front you know in small little print but it's not on a patch that's not a placeholder for 
a logo of a company that they're going to be sponsoring like the NBA has gone to with their uniforms. That's just the, the NFL allowing Nike to get creative and actually put a patch on the uniform that has the name of the team. It says Los Angeles Rams there. Now, that patch on the Heather uh, uniforms is slightly different than the patch you'll see on the blue uniform as I have highlighted there. As you look at the top, um, that patch is in a different uh, variation of LA Rams. And so it doesn't have the same um, wording as the, the Heather uniform. So that's a little different, that's unique. That's a little twist that Nike put in there. It's a small, subtle change, but nonetheless, it's a change and I, I, I like that. Um, also, you'll see another thing that I decided to highlight here and that's this yellow tag on the back and you see it circled on the screen. When you flip the jersey over and you look at the backside where the nameplate is, there's a, a little tag there with an LA logo, the, the new logo, and it's in yellow. I think that's pretty cool. I, I really like that. It's a subtle change on the back of the uniform, just something else to look at, a little bit more eye candy uh, by Nike, spicing up and sprucing up this uniform. And so, like I said, Nike got a little creative here uh, with this particular uniform. And then I want to turn your attention to one final thing here. Uh, on this uniform, and that's the numbers. Remember I talked about the the color bleeding on the uh, royal tops where it starts yellow, goes to white? Well, I think in this, and it may be the same thing as you get a little bit closer to the um, other numbers on the royal uniforms, but on that uniform, as you look at those numbers closely, I don't know if that's a ram, you know, the ram helmet sign that they've tried to embed into the numbers. I think it's pretty cool. Whatever it is, it's not just... A standard number there's some design into that number and so Nike did something there with the number as well so Nike got pretty creative with these uniforms uh, it's a different look I think it's pretty clean uh, they didn't do too much but you know there were subtle changes that I thought Nike did to this thing again you could complain that it's bland it looks like a regular uniform and that's fine it may be too clean for you but I like the cleanness of the uniform it's not cluttered they didn't try to do too much uh, I thought they did a quality job overall with this Rams uniform. So what says you? What do you think about these new Ram uniforms? Yay, nay, thumbs up, thumbs down. You think this is a abomination by Nike? You thought that they actually did some justice to the Rams after the debacle of the logo? What do you say? Did, did, did the Rams rebound here? Did Nike get it right here with the uniforms to me? This is the best job Nike has done this offseason in terms of a uniform. They didn't do much to Tampa's. They didn't do much to New England's. They didn't do much to the Browns. They, I thought they destroyed the Falcons uniforms uh, outside of maybe one or two color combinations there. I think this is the best job Nike's done this offseason. What do you think? Leave it down in the comment section along with a like and a sub if you haven't already done so to the Louis T Network. Make sure you're following me on Instagram, Louis T Network underscore is the IG handle. Also, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Louis T Network there as well. I'm your man, Louis T, signing off. Remember, if it's not your man T, it's not, I repeat, not the best NFL coverage. It could be. We're breaking out every team in the NFL's draft, so make sure you're not missing out on the draft wrap-up series that's going on in progress, so make sure you're checking that out. And if you want your team to be next, be first in the comment section to leave the phrase next in the team you'd like to see next. Until next time, you guys stay safe out there. Leave it in the comment section. What do you think? Rams jerseys, thumbs up or thumbs down? I'll see you guys a little bit later on. Take care. Louis T. Network.